Kick my ass. Woo! Hey, welcome to Corey's Couch. Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm back with another reaction and it is to the, the 100 finale. I honestly cannot believe that we are here. It has been such an amazing season and I don't think they've really put a foot wrong the entire season. So I am so excited to see how they end it. And the idea floating around and theories is that Clark is about to make a really big sacrifice and I hope that does not happen. And I'm really scared about Primfire coming and killing a lot of people that I want to want to survive. And going up in space. And I don't want to bore you anymore. I just want to get into watching the episode. So let's go. Under the floor. You're not that little girl anymore. You gave people hope when there was none. You're, you're Prometheus. Stealing fire from the gods and giving it back to the human race. I love you, big brother. Guys, don't make me cry. Bella. I love you too. Bellamy? No. Bellamy, can you hear me? Oh. Hey, we're meeting again. Hey, we're meeting again. Two scrubbers on a two person rocket won't support eight of us. So we use supplemental oxygen. Our tanks only hold an hour of air. Correct. We'll have one hour to get into orbit, land in the hangar bay, and fire up the life support system. Oh my god. Using an oxygen generator built to supply a lighthouse bachelor pad. Now we know the many ways we might die today. Why don't you tell us what we have to do to live? Tear my soup. Of course, that's all you care about. Look, I hate interrupting the little overreaction you're having, but tick tock. I should have drank the tea. Oh. Monty! Tick tock, okay. Can't take them off. I'm gonna take up my glasses. No! What? We're running out of time. It's your funeral. <laughs> God, no one is dying today. I will not accept death. Only choice. Also an oxymoron, by the way. It smells cold sweat. Still holding out hope for that night blood solution. If anything happens to me. Nothing is happening to you. Come uh, on, let's run these water numbers again. Please tell me, I need you to hear this. We've been through a lot together, you and I. I didn't like you at first. That's no secret. But even then, every stupid thing you did, was to protect your sister. She didn't always see that. But I did. Is this gonna happen? 
You have such a big heart, Bellamy. But the only way to make sure we survive is if you use this too. I got you for that. Raven's premonition came true. It's over, Clark! You know, maybe if I saw the alley's code eating away my brain, I could figure it out. I'm not smart enough myself. <gasps> Don't say that. How many times you saved our asses before you ever even heard of Allie? Totally. You don't need to count. You're damn right. We don't need Allie on the Ark. We need you. Come on, I can't find my other glove. I can't find you. Where's the other glove? I got it. We're good. We're going through, okay? What? Oh. My God. What? Yeah. Oh my god. He's just leaving you. Monty, wake up! Wake up, Monty! Damn! Hey. Clark, if this is one of those moments where you tell me to use my hey, head. I was just gonna say. Oh. Me too. Stop, stop hiding your love for each other. Just say something, please. I can't deal with this Everything indirect. I don't like these odds. Yeah. Run fast. Ah! My heart. Lori, let go! Where the hell are you? Where is that bitch? Are you freaking kidding me? What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Say something! What the hell is that supposed to mean? Wake up, Monty. Yep, wake up, let's go. Don't take your damn suit off, boy. Don't take that suit off. Yeah, I did. It's back in the lab. We need to... Aww. I may not hate you anymore. Aww. Give it time. Come on. Give it time. Love you, Bellamy. She has to climb a tower, doesn't she? She has 10 minutes to get back. Bellamy? If you can hear me, do it like... No! You're not allowed to die. It's not fair. I like the place too. No! 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 Why are you accepting it's over? Well, how's that go? Great. I'll find her. You can Just ditch the there. bitch. I'll wait as long as we can. Okay, the thing I'm thinking about now is she's a night blood. Oh my god. Guys, 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 guys. Oh my god. No! What did I say, Clark? You weren't allowed to sacrifice yourself. And what did you do? You sacrificed yourself. Oh. He's holding out for last hope. I love you. Every hope. Mind you, this is so cool. Wait, me meet again. Don't say quack. red with radiation. What's Khan gonna do? No.
get somewhere safe. Where are you gonna go though? I don't know. <gasps> no! No! I'm not accepting this. She's not dying. No! no. Home, huh? No! Five years. Six years and seven days later. Oh my god, what? Is that Clark? Is that Clark? Oh my god, look at her eyes. I love her hair. But here we go again. You can hear me, you're alive. It's been 2,199 days since Prime Fire. I don't know why I still do this every day, not forgetting who I am, who I was. It's been safe for you to come down for over a year now. Why haven't you? At least the night blood work. The bunker's gone silent too. We tried to get them out for a while, but there's too much trouble. <gasps> I haven't made contact with them either. Oh my god. Chop the streak, not Peter. What? No, I chopped down. One, I love that they jumped time. I loved it because I wanted them to, kind of because I couldn't I couldn't see season five being okay. We've just had pre and fire. Now we're gonna survive, and you know I wanted them to jump ahead because you know. But the fact that they, they jumped six years and they left Clark's fate up in the air, like we didn't know what Clark would if she's gonna. No one knew if Clark survives. And the, obviously the Nightblood solution worked because she survives and six years later and they don't even show a Bellamy or Raven and they lost contact with the bunker guys. Like, what the hell? I'm like, whoa! <laughs> like, 
I am just mind boggled about what is going to happen and I am so freaking excited for season 5. I hate that we have going to have to wait like so long. Like it's going to be such a long wait for season 5. But they killed that finale. I'm really annoyed though that they didn't show Abby or they didn't show any of like the Sky Crew people in the bunker. Like they just completely didn't show that. I'm making no sense, but I'm trying to process right now what I just saw and I'm mind boggled. I can't, like, what did Clark do for six years? That kid looks older than six, so I'm sure that she found, came across her when she was alone. Like, she obviously she survived, and then she came across her um, through her travels, and she just said, well, we're the only two survivors on Earth, because we're Nightbloods. But, oh my god, I... I'm bowing down because they killed that finale. That was one of the best episodes ever. They didn't... I don't think they topped the, like, the Conclave episode, but I just... I'm just crazy losing it from that ending. Just... I was really upset that, like, they're going to think Clark died, and she didn't. I'm so glad she didn't. People kept saying that she was going to die, that this was going to be, her, like, her final thing, but no! No, 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 no. She survives. Oh, okay. I blabbed enough. I'm so sorry. I blabbed so much. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to click subscribe to my channel and also check in the description box. All my social media links are there. I want to thank you all for tuning in and watching every single reaction of mine for the 100 this season. This season has definitely been one of the best ones. There has been no doubt about it. And I will be totally back for season five because after that ending, I want to know and I want you guys to see what I've think about it. But yeah, I think that's all I got. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.